Hi there. In this topic video, we're going to focus on something called the principal agent problem. Now, in most major firms in modern industrial economies, including the United Kingdom and the USA, the companies are listed on the stock market and they're owned by shareholders. And we call those people the principals of the business. But actually, day to day, these businesses are run by, by managers. We call these people agents. Uh, indeed, uh, there could be different layers of management. Senior management, including chief executives, chief financial officers, etc. Down to middle managers who might, for example, run a particular store in a retail chain. Uh, down to lower middle management that might be operating a particular shift in a factory, let's say. So you have owners of a business, the principals. You have agents of a business, the managers. And I think the key point is that the managers may have different objectives than the shareholders. So typically, shareholders want to maximise profit because they want to maximise the return from their investment, both in terms of the share price and also the dividend that they will receive. Managers who, let's face it, are in the, in the business making key day-to-day -day decisions on price, on marketing, on research, on product, they may have different motivations, they may have different objectives. And this is what's called the principal agent problem. Now, the principal agent problem is also known as an asymmetric information problem because the owners of a firm can't observe directly what the management is doing. So if I'm a shareholder in a public listed company, I might take an interest in the share price by reading the back page of the financial papers, for example. I might follow the company news avidly on the TV and the radio. But uh, most of the time, day in, day out, actually, I'm not taking an active interest, active participation in the business. And it's costly and time consuming and difficult for me to actually do that, even if I wanted to. So there's an asymmetric information problem key point here is that the decisions and the performance of the agent, uh, in other words the manager, are costly and difficult to monitor accurately. And this is the essence of what's called the principal agent problem. So what can we do to overcome the principal agent problem? Uh, we found out that what's in the best interest of management, for example, they might want to uh, maximise the firm's turnover instead of profit. They might want to maximise sales instead of the operating margin. How, what can owners do to align the motives of shareholders and managers? What can they do to encourage the managers of a business to move a little bit more back towards profit maximisation? How can we overcome the principal agent problem? Well, here are three possibilities. There are others, but let me focus on these ones. One is to give employees a financial stake in the business. And this would be called an employee share ownership scheme. Two businesses in the UK, which are, of course, jointly owned here, John Lewis and Waitrose, they have a very well-established and highly regarded partnership model for their employees. And the annual publication of the John Lewis Waitrose bonus is eagerly awaited by people who work within the organisation. So giving employees uh, shares in the business could be a useful approach to take. However, in evaluation, uh, giving managers stock options can actually lead to perverse and damaging behaviour. So if we think back to the case of Enron, and it's quite easy for you to Google the Enron story to get a little bit more information on that, uh, managers were using deliberately uh, anti-competitive tactics. They were hiking up the price of energy shares through legal action, including creating energy blackouts because if the share price went up, they could cash in their shares, make some serious money. Do Google Enron if you want to understand a little bit more about the dangers of perverse behaviour from share ownership schemes. Another option, instead of share ownership um, incentives, is to tie your senior management to a longer term employment contract. Let's say, for example, you have a five or ten year contract that gives the manager what's called job tenure or job security and uh, hopefully that would encourage the managers to take slightly longer term decisions 
that might be in the best long-term interest of the business from a profitability point of view, rather than focusing on short-term goals such as sales and revenues and market share. Uh, Apple uh, has kind of mixed the two. So they've gone for a long-term stock commitment. So this new policy introduced by the highly profitable US computer giant uh, in 2013 requires the senior executives at Apple to hold uh, three times their base salary in Apple stock. And the senior executives have to keep this salary in stock for a minimum of five years to satisfy the requirement. There are other options. Uh, we've seen the emergence and the growth of activist shareholders, including activist hedge funds, hedge funds who take a, a small stake in a business to try and force through some management change. But essentially, these are some of the possibilities for trying to overcome the principal agent problem. Thanks for tuning in on this one. It's an important microeconomic term that links to business objectives and business performance. And hopefully that's uh, given you a couple of examples to think about.